Welcome to a, another video tutorial. This one is going to be all about creating Go Live sites within Go Live. Um, if you have looked in the file under the file menu, you may have seen the little new option. Now, if you're using Go Live CS, um, I believe there's it says new page, new site, um, and new something else. I don't recall right off the top of my head. Um, but we're going to be looking at creating a new site and really the reason you want to create sites in go live is you really take advantage of everything go live was meant to do it makes updating your sites so much easier um, all your links will automatically update and you can think of creating a site as creating one master folder but it's beyond just creating one master folder folder you actually are creating go live files that will keep track of all your files as well so that's very helpful and as you work with go live you're gonna see how great sites are and that's one of the reasons you're gonna, when you get started with go live you're really gonna to wanna to create sites this way so first things first come here to the file menu hit new if you're using CS hit new site I believe now this dialog box is actually new to CS2 and because of that I'm gonna go over just what all is in here first off we have a column here of tabs and the first tab is site and the first option is create site and that's actually what we're going to do but let me just touch on what the rest of these are there are a bunch of samples here um, you can also connect to version control systems or version Q uh, projects you're working on if you know what version Q is you also have this web tab here and the web tab you can simply create individual pages you got HTML pages template stationary and component pages if you know what uh, these are We'll get into those in a future tutorial. You have frame sets. You've got CSS, table page samples, blog page samples. You also have your CSS pages, basic CSS, and then you've got a bunch of pre-made CSSs. CSS pages, I guess I should say, not CSSs. Um, you also have images and multimedia objects as well. Over here in the mobile tab, you have your mobile pages, which HTML is basically the American standard. iMode. Um, is a Japanese standard, although EU, I believe, is European, so that's probably European. I haven't looked into that much. You also have MMS and WML DEC documents. And you also have your basic CSS pages for mobile devices. And then some SVG and multimedia stuff here as well. And we also have a scripting tab. And here we have our scripting pages, ASP, JSP, and PHP pages. These are all just blank pages. We have QuickTime, CGI, JavaScript, and PerlScript pages. We also have RSS pages, XML documents, and some other various documents in there. And we also have full PHP solutions, and your default solutions are just a PHP guestbook and a PHP online shop, which is a full-blown online shop. It's very cool. All right, so we're going to come up here to the Site tab, and we're just going to create a site. Now, this is the first part of the Site Creation Wizard, as it names itself right there site creation wizard and you are given a choice you can create a blank site a site from existing content or a site from a site locator file let's select site from existing content even though I don't have any and you probably don't if you're just learning the basics of go live so just hit next and what it's going to ask you to do is create it's gonna ask you do you want to create a file from a local folder of existing files now when you're working with HTML and you're talking about local uh, files basically local just means on your machine okay it's on your machine it's not up on the web it's not on some remote server somewhere okay or it's not on any server anywhere okay it's still on your computer so if that's the case you want to select that or you can download files from a re remote server um, this is nice in a whole slew of uh, times <laughs> I don't know what word I'm looking for um, or you can do it by connecting to a project on a version control system okay so you can also connect the version queue projects and things like that but we actually don't want to create a site from existing content because we actually don't have any content you can also create a site from a site locator file which is actually very simple just browse to the site locator file and then choose where you're gonna save that site to and then just hit finish but we are actually gonna create this blank site right there so hit next and creating a blank site is the way to go obviously if you have no content you don't have a site locator file first thing we need to do with our blank site is give it a name now the name can be anything you want literally anything it does not show up on the web it is for your own personal preference that's it um, people aren't gonna see it you can name it you know 
my lame effort at making a website, you can name it whatever you want. Okay, in this case, I'm just gonna name it my go live site. Okay, and then you find a target on your local hard drive where you want to save it. Okay, I want to save it into this folder right here. You can choose a folder on your machine, and then on this little advanced tab here, the only thing I suggest is that you click make URLs case sensitive in case you are one of the few that, or I shouldn't say few, there are probably quite a few people that do this, um, but use capital letters in your file names. Um, it really isn't good practice. Technically speaking, you're not supposed to do it. Um, I do it because I just do, and I, it's just something I do, but technically speaking, you're not supposed to do it. But I usually just keep that checked off just in case. Now, you're going to come to a little option here called version control and it's going to ask you do you want to use version control or don't use version control it's going to ask you what to do now version control is an option that basically prevents people from well actually what it's what it's really used for is when you're working with version queue and you have many people working on one project okay you'd have the same site file and go live version control is it as adobe says right here it's a check-in check-out functionality to prevent your other team members or your other web design team members from working on the same work or working on the same page, excuse me, at the same time so you don't, you know, overwrite each other's uh, changes, which can be very helpful. But in this case, I will be the only one working on the site, so I don't really need to worry about that. So I'm going to check off do not use version control and hit next. What we now have are server options. Um, the server you're going to publish to, you need to set options for that. I'm going to select set ser specify server later because I'm not going to get into how to specify your server right at this moment, but in the near future, I'll have a tutorial on how to do that for those of you that don't know how to do it. But for right now, just specify server settings later and just simply hit the finish button. And what we see here is the site window, okay? Go live just turned out the site churned out excuse me the site window and the files in the site window are actually located on your hard drive okay I'm not gonna get into everything that has to do with the site window right now because I'm gonna get into that in a another tutorial that I'm going to do so if you like to learn more about the site window go check that tutorial out and um, that's it that's how you create a basic site in go live or a basic go live site I really should say hey I misspelled go live but <laughs> not to be dragged by my misspelling um, that's how you create a basic a basic go live site and um, as you work more and more in go live as I mentioned before you're gonna realize really how helpful it is to have a site and you're gonna learn how to use the site window in a, another tutorial that you can go to the site and find and that's it for this one I hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed it I hope you uh, hope you'll go to the site it's www.tutvid.com it's spelled t-u-t-v-i-d.com lots of other great stuff on the site and uh, hope to see you around